Super Organism, Worldwide Pop, album review, let's chat about it. Hey friends, what's going on? John here from What's Spinning, here tonight to chat about this latest album from Super Organism. These guys and gals are a London-based experimental pop project. And back in 2018, they started making some waves around the time of their self-titled debut. As far as the really interesting story about the band's formation, which I implore you to go check out. And at first, I was hesitant to listen to it. I don't really know why, but it took me a while to get around to it. But it's actually a pretty cool work. It's a pretty compelling, far out, and genuinely weird psychedelic pop project. It's weird as hell, but it's also got a sense of innocence to it. It's very playful, it's very fun, and really catchy. And if I had to use a word to sum up most of the singles leading up to this new album, uh, I would say they were super infectious. Let's chat about it. Uh, honestly, I'm not going to beat around the bush. The first half of this album, even more of it, is a pretty awesome piece of just weird pop. This album starts off with Black Hole Baby, and it is very quirky, very uh, wonky experiment pop but what else were you expecting very bouncy it's very sunny like i said earlier there is once again a sense of innocence to this that is just really blissful and nice but it's really bright and colorful too i like the interlude that we get on this track and on top of that most importantly this beat goes pretty hard man no joke it's a great start it's just perfect for a bright sunny day to spend outdoors and honestly in a weird way it almost reminds me of what initially tr like got me into caro caro bonito a lot of this album is just very bright very fluffy fun experimental pop that'll make your head explode worldwide pop this album's title track on the other hand is a little more on the rails to an extent i guess by their standards while this track doesn't have the bumping groove that this first that the first track had here it's got enough wonky synths and weird vocal snippets that would make uh, i don't know 100 gex blush their eyes off it's very likable and positive feeling and fluffy even though it gets downright abrasive and noisy at times this album isn't your mom's pop record for sure but it's a lot of fun i would even go as far as to say it's a lot more tuneful than their first album on and on on the other hand is a little bit of a different track from super organism it's a little bit smoother there aren't as many production tricks and weird elements to it but it makes up for that with being very blissful very colorful instantaneous as well but i think what makes this track a little different is the human touch it's a little bit more emotional but we're just getting started here folks teenager is also really really good this one features vocals from chai and pajama uh, this one takes a turn for the weirder it is one of the oddest tracks here uh it, it's hard to even break down at points but it's also really blissful it's oddly joyous as well in a really really weird way but it's also the track that stuck with me here the most like i can't seem to get it out of my head the mindless but really instantaneous chorus the production which is really great blissful atmosphere as well it's sugary it's sweet it's really catchy it's wonky and far out but it's also got the human touch as well hell super organism even make rainy days fun it's raining featuring dylan cartledge and stephen malkmus of payment fame is really great too when you break it down it's one of the more dreary tracks from the band but even this is kind of fun the samples are great the features are great this track is really you know instantaneous and listen the sound bites and the splicing they're not gonna be for everyone some people are gonna find them really annoying but i think it brings a little color even to the drearier moments here flying on the other hand no pun intended absolutely soars it's one of the more upbeat tracks here. That's one thing that I wish we heard a little more of. But as far as an anthem goes, look no further. This is so bubbly and carefree. This whole first leg of the album is so impressive. And I really love uh, Solar System featuring Boa Constrictors and Chai as well. The bulky beat and the cosmic effects are really fun, but the sort of lackadaisical half-stone vocals that we get here offer a great contrast. And I don't know what it is about it, but the quirky ad-libs that we get here, I, I think they're kind of hilarious. So many small details in this album bring a smile to my face. It's a real shame that they can't keep this pace up, though. We get into the featuring Gen Hoshino, Pajama, and Stephen Malkmus once again, and I don't know, like a lot of people are hyping this track up, not for me though. This was a big single for a lot of people, but I feel like it's one of the more obnoxious moments here. I'm not nearly as into this instrumental and the low, 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 low energy vocals, 
even the vocal guests here, most of which have, you know, contributed to other tracks here really well too, just don't seem to be bringing their A game. Put down your phone really hurts because it has so much going for it. I think the lyrics here are some of the most memorable of the album. It's so tender and sweet and carefree and relatable. There's a sense of innocence to it again as well that I just really like. It's a real shame this instrumental is one of the most boring here, especially when you compare it to a lot of the other tracks on this album. Crush.zip also does not do much for me. I mean, we get like some real organic instrumentation on this track and people have hyped this one up as well, but it's not really my favorite track either. I mean, from a distance, this sounds like another weirdo poppy jam, but I feel like the band's trying to hard. Compared to what we've heard earlier in the album, this track seems so tame in the personality, which they had oodles of before, uh, it just seems out the window. And Don't Let the Colony Collapse is really frustrating as well. I do like the pulsating beat, the pristine production's really nice too, but the big gang vocals on this track, which I thought would be something that I would eat up, just don't really come off that exciting for me. It's not the case. Things get pretty obnoxious as a matter of fact. Like I said, it sounds nice from a distance, but when you really start to nitpick, there are things that are more aggravating than exciting here. This is still, though, one of the weirder and wonkier pop albums that you're going to hear all year, and most of it's pretty darn good. Oh Come On is a late album knockout. This one has some weird lo-fi production, but when you, you know, put that up against a bulky beat and some very cosmic synths, it actually creates a really interesting sound. It's one of the more freakish and genuinely out there tracks here, and is probably my favorite deep cut. And they'd knock it out of the park with the finale, Everything Falls Apart, because God knows I needed a blast of energy right now. What even is this noisy and intense and loud intro that we get here, followed up by some really sunny, tropical rhythms? What is this? 13 tracks in, I think we're actually getting the boldest experiment here. And I love how sweet and sentimental this track comes off in Superorganism's own weird way. It shows me that they still have a lot to offer in the future, and I can't wait to hear it. Yeah, a lot of this album is just really fun, colorful, very blissful, psych pop with an experimental edge, some really great production, some great sampling. It's just pop music that you put on, you sing along to until your head explodes. I mean, yeah, consistency is a problem, especially when you look at just how consistent the first seven tracks are here and then the real drop off that we get in the second half uh that's something they can work on but still this is one of the funner and weirder pop albums you'll hear all year i'm feeling a strong seven on this album but let me know what you guys think down below if you like the video be sure to give us a like give us a subscribe and let me know down below what you would like for me to chat about in the future and until next time have a great day friends